Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the latest stable version of the Google Chrome web browser, version 94, is now rolling out. It started rolling out yesterday on the 21st of September 2021, and I received my update this morning on the 22nd in my part of the world. This also means we have been bumped up from version 93 to 94 in this latest stable release, and the previous version 93 actually rolled out only three weeks ago, so that's quite a quick transition between version 93 and 94. Now, after version 94 now moving forward, we also are going to be moving on to a four-week release cycle now to version updates to Google Chrome, which also means now you won't be getting as many frequent feature updates uh, due to that more frequent release cycle now, which is going to be every four weeks moving forward. Now, in version 94, there are no key feature updates there's just a couple of minor updates and add-ons, but there's also a lot of security updates. So what I'm going to do is in this video, I'm going to talk about what's new. And then I'll post a second video to discuss the security updates in version 94. Because if I try to do that all in one video, it just becomes too long. Now, the first uh, highlight in version 94 is that HTTPS has become more secure. And that's now with HTTPS first mode which basically tries to upgrade your web pages to HTTPS. And if the browser is unable to load a certain page with HTTPS, then you will get and see a full screen warning before you can move on and proceed to an older HTTP standard web page. And this is actually uh, enabled and disabled with a setting now. And if we just go to our settings menu, privacy and security, and we click on security, yeah, you will see Always use secure connections, upgrade navigations to HTTPS and warn you before loading sites that don't support it. It's off by default. And if you want to use this feature now, you can just toggle that on. And then another uh, um, highlight is apparently now there is improved uh, graphics processing in version 94. And Google say they have begun testing a new API that basically lets web developers try out and tap into your uh, computer's graphics processing power and this web GPU API they say will be useful for games that run in the browser. Now I think there's going to be a little bit of concern with some users uh, going forward because this could be a privacy issue for some users moving forward but I will keep you posted um, when I know more. Now Google Chrome version 94 actually does come with one new key feature and but it's not enabled by default and we have to use a flag to enable this and it's called the sharing menu or the desktop sharing hub which i actually have featured in previous videos in google chrome canary which is a pre-release version of chrome and the sharing hub as i say is not enabled by default and we have to use a flag to enable it so if you want to enable the sharing hub just head up to your address bar your omnibox and just enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags that's chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and in the search just typing sharing hub and this will bring up the three flags that we need the first one is desktop sharing hubbing app menu enables the chrome sharing hub in the three dot menu for desktop and all three flags are available in mac windows linux and chrome os and we change the default setting to enabled and then the next flag is Desktop Sharing Hub in Omnibox. Enables the Chrome Sharing Hub in the Omnibox for Desktop. And we just change that to Enabled. And then the last one is Enables Taking Screenshots from the Desktop Sharing Hub. And once again, we just enable that. And then we have to relaunch uh, Google Chrome to apply those three flags. And now after you've relaunched, you will see in the Omnibox, the address bar in the top right, Share This Page, which is the Desktop Sharing Hub, which basically just collates all the sharing options into one handy and useful um, menu called the Sharing Hub. And as I say, I have featured this in previous videos in Google Chrome Canary. And you can copy link, take a screenshot, cast, save page as, and then you can share links to uh, different social media accounts. And it's also here in the menu, share, and it gives you the same options. So I think that's you know a handy feature. And if you want to enable it, just use those flags that I've just... Uh, shown you and now just another little uh, minor uh, update is that the v8 javascript engine has now been updated to version 9.4 
So I hope that's actually going to help a little bit with security with the JavaScript engine because that's the JavaScript engine is always open to attack in the Chromium platform. So hopefully now with version 9.4, it will help the security side of things with the V8 JavaScript engine. And then the last little highlight in this video to mention is that uh, Chrome 94 now adds shortcuts to your recently accessed Google Drive files in the new tab page. Now, I'm not actually seeing this. So this could be on a controlled rollout and region specific, um, which I say, you know, your last, your most recently used uh, documents and, and, and shortcuts and accessed Google Drive files will uh, be previewed here as shortcuts in the new tab page. But as I say, once I get this feature, I will post a video regarding that. And then to end this video, if we just head over to the Chrome platform status, yeah, under Chrome 94, which was released a day ago, there are some other minor updates and add-ons. And if you click on each one, you will get a more in-depth look if you are interested. And I will leave a link to this page down below for you to go check out. And then the next stable release of Google Chrome, which is version 95, is rolling out in 27 days. And that's on the 19th of October this year, 2021. So that's more or less for this video, what's new in the Google Chrome web browser. And I'll post a, a second video shortly to discuss the security side of things in version 94. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.